Hey Flo fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make DIY poppets. You might recognize these from my other blind bag video and I just made them into little fruits and vegetables. Here is this carrot poppet. I will definitely be making more fidget toys if you guys want to, so leave all of your suggestions down in the comment section. I think I might bring these to like the airport or the bus or something, and they're so cute and easy to make. So yeah, let's just get started into the tutorial. You'll be needing paperboard or cardboard. This is just a cereal box, paper, a pencil, a black pen or marker, any type of coloring supplies like crayons, colored pencils or markers, scissors, tape, and a glue stick. First, take your paperboard or cardboard, I'm just using a cereal box, and we're just gonna start out by drawing our design. By the way, I forgot to mention that I'm just doing a square here, but you can absolutely do any shape you want. You could do like the ones I showed you at the beginning, or a heart, or a circle, you could literally do anything. Once you have your shape of the poppet, we're now gonna make the circles in the middle. I would recommend to use some circular items to trace so they can all be consistent circles. So I think I'm gonna use the inside of this washi tape and I'm just gonna trace it and you can make as many holes um, and circles as you want. I think I'm gonna make two up here and two down here. Once the circles are drawn out, you're gonna wanna cut it out and make several depending on how thick you want your poppet to be. I think I'm gonna make three. Once your shape is cut out of the paperboard, you're gonna want to trace it like this so they all come out the same size. And again, make as many as you want, depending on how thick or thin you want it to be. Once you've cut out all of your layers, you're gonna want to start to cut out those circles that we drew on the first one. And as you can see, I didn't draw the circles on these because they would be off center. So we're gonna cut these out and then trace them on so they're all in the same little space. If you guys are a little unsure on how to cut the little circles out in the middle, this is how like the first one came out. So all you have to do is grab your scissors and be careful with this part because it's a little dangerous. So you just have to like cut a little hole in the middle like this. Once it's in like this, you're going to want to cut straight to the edge of the circle. Then do it again on the other side. And then again to the left and then to the bottom and then all you have to do is just cut around the sides and this is how it'll look now just repeat this step on all of the holes on all of the pieces of cardboard once all of the circles are cut out of the squares we're gonna put them all together and glue them so just apply a thin layer of glue and then take a piece and place it right on top, lining it up as best as you can, and repeat the same step for the rest of the pieces. Okay guys, so as you can see, we finished the base of the poppet, and this is how it looks from the side. It's actually pretty thick like this and then here's the back and now all we have to do is take a piece of white paper and place it on top and now we're gonna trace it so trace the back side of the poppet and then turn it around to the back side and trace it again then trace out the circles in the middle And repeat on the other side. Now it's time to color your poppet. So I'm just gonna color my poppet this light blue turquoise and we're just gonna color the front of these two and you don't have to color like the circles in the middle because we're gonna cut those out. Okay guys, I'm finally done with coloring the poppets and let me just say I loved how it turned out. This color is super cute. So now we're gonna take some clear tape and laminate it. Once the pieces are laminated, we're gonna just cut them out. Okay guys, so once we have our two pieces of paper cut out, we're going to cut out the circles in the middle. Now obviously cutting paper is way easier than cutting paperboard. So I think we're just gonna fold it a little bit so it's easier. 
and then we're just gonna do a little snip in the middle and just cut them out So once we have our two sides cut out and the circles cut out, we're going to get one side and we're going to take our glue stick and again apply a light amount of glue right at the paperboard or on the paper, it doesn't really matter, but just apply some glue all over and then take this side and then just stick it right on top so your poppet can be a super cute color. And then just repeat on the other side with the other piece of paper. And it should look a little like this. This is how mine looks and it's actually really sturdy. This is... If you like whack it on a table, it should be pretty hard. But now let's make the little pop things in the middle. Now we're going to take a piece of paper, a round object, and a pencil. And we're going to be doing like the little pop things in the middle. And last time I traced in the inside of this tape roll. But now I'm going to trace um, on the outside because we want the circles to be a little bigger. So find a little bigger circular item than before because um the poppet things are gonna be a little more 3d because we're gonna cut them in the middle so i'm gonna make four of them because my poppet has four circles in the middle now we're going to color the circles and place a clear layer of tape on top and then just cut them out. Um, you guys, I almost forgot to tell you guys that you have to do the exact same thing on the back side. So color it the same color and laminate it with clear tape. So now we're gonna take our pair of scissors and we're gonna cut one side just to the middle, just like this, and then we're gonna overlap and tape. Don't do it too much because it won't work too well, so do it just a little bit like that, and then grab a piece of tape and tape it together. So once you've taped the flap down, we're going to turn it inside out like this and take another piece of tape and tape it down. And then we're going to take our little cardboard piece that we made earlier and we're going to place it on top and put little pieces of tape all around so it sticks. So as you can see, I placed a little piece of tape here. Now I'm going to place another piece right up here and just keep going around. I think I'm going to do two more to this side and then just repeat on all of them. Okay guys, so I finished taping this first one and now I'm gonna finish the rest and then we're gonna do the pop reveal. All right, so I finally finished the poppet and I absolutely love how it turned out and it's super adorable. So three, two, one. This is how the poppet looks. I actually really like how it turned out and here's the front and here's the back. Now let's pop the little, I don't know what these are called but I'm just calling them little bubbles. Okay, let's pop them. Oh my gosh guys it's so satisfying i could pop these for like hours and i don't think you can pop them on like a table let's try oh my gosh you actually can but they don't go like all the way i think it pops better on this side let's try it again Oh my gosh guys and i think you can put like plastic in them if you want it to make like a popping sound because obviously paper doesn't make a real big pop it sound they just sound like this but yeah guys i really like how it turned out make sure to comment down below if you tried this craft and if it turned out pretty cute what shape you made and all of that also, for a chance to get pinned in this video make sure to comment down below what part of the world you're watching this video from También muchas gracias por todos los que ven mis videos que hablan español. And let's do a final ASMR. Thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel make sure to have your post notifications on if you want to get notified every time i post a brand new video bye